guys, hello. Are you having problems with the new Windows 8 Acer computers in the forms of these bars over here having limited written on them right here? Um, <laughs> I just fixed mine. I went through days of searching and trying and figuring out how on earth to fix this stupid problem. And I can now tell you two different ways to do it. One way that worked for me, and the second way I didn't need to try. And I don't know if it works, but I'm assuming it will because a lot of other people have commented on it. So let's, let's get this fixed. So the first way and the way that worked for me was you go to Open Control Panel from my computer. You're going to go to Network and Internet. You're going to go to network and sharing and from here you're going to click on uh, the connection that you want to or are technically connected to but it has that little um, like yellow sign on it. You're going to click it and it's going to bring you to the status. Now you want to click on properties and for properties you'll get Wi-Fi. You want to click configure and from here we're gonna go to power management now make sure that this box is unchecked as long as this box is unchecked you you won't have that problem anymore because if you read it it allows the computer to turn off the device to save power so that means this computer can physically make your network router shut down to consume and save power not consume just to save power so as long as you have that unchecked you are good to go just all good all set now um, the second way that and I mean like I said I don't know if this one will work if the first one didn't work for you you could always try this but you know please don't blame me this is just what I had read uh, about other people who had the same problem so you're gonna go to my computer for this this is the second way if the other one worked do not do this way <laughs> yeah you're gonna go to again control panel and you're gonna search driver and that's that's all you're gonna do is just search driver here go to update device drivers now from here you can physically do what you want to these drivers um, some people have stated that uh, uninstall, well actually, a fact, uh, when Acer made this computer, there are many problems that have occurred with internet connection with it. So, uh, one of those actually are really drivers. Some of the drivers intertwine with each other and cause uh, the internet to malfunction. Um, and the only one that I really remember uh, is any Blu-ray device drivers. Now, I don't personally know where it is, but I'm sure you can find it somewhere uh, looking for your Blu-ray device driver anywhere on here. And you can remove it, you can update it, you can do whatever you have to do. Uh, those are just some things that you can try. But again, don't, don't don't do the driver thing if you uh, already tried the um, properties way. Now, uh, when you're doing what I just showed you with the uh, with the properties and to fix uh, the first way, make sure that your internet is um, well. Of course, you have to re uh, restart it once you uncheck that. So you're just you're gonna disconnect your internet. And then you're going to reconnect to it as soon as you check that box. And that is that is it. You should hopefully have it fixed. And I really hope it helps you because, like I said, I was stuck forever on it. And, oh my god, you know. So, hopefully it works for you guys.